of the dangers that we face here, we're going into kind of the unknown. You've got somebody in a room, you don't know who it is, you don't know numbers, you don't know if they're armed, you don't know if there are innocents in that room. When you enter that structure, you have to read and react, figure out where the suspect could be hiding, and all that happens within seconds. I've got 42 years in law enforcement. I've learned that the real safety component for a police officer is knowing what they're gonna get into before they get there. Police, open up! I mean, how do you do that? Well, this thing gives you that opportunity. First thing a bad guy's gonna do is gonna disable those cameras. So you really need something separated from the situation that you can employ yourself. By deploying this camera, it's gonna allow us to see into an area before we actually send people in. It's gonna put eyes in rooms that might be too dangerous to enter. We can get real-time reconnaissance information back to each and every operator on the team at the same time, visually. You cannot re replace that in any capacity, I think, with any other technology I've seen. mainly inside housing units, hostage situation in combined space. Both for special operations and for patrol operations, possibly investigatory applications. Barricaded suspect or a hostage rescue. Narcotics and investigators that could use us on a surveillance application. Active intruder, active shooter response in a school. It's really limited by the imagination of the end user. I don't think it's just for tactical situations, for searches, building collapses. There are so many other applications within the public safety arena, not just in policing. The fire department could probably use some of this technology as well for their search and rescue operations. We really liked what it does. It's very durable, very versatile for what we want to do. It is simple to use. If it's simple, the officer is going to use it. You know, we need to make every, every dollar count, so we need to find items that are affordable. The cost is reasonable. It allows the administrator to buy more units, and I think that is huge. There's nothing that I've seen in my career that would uh, even compare. The application is going to be attributed to saving several law enforcement lives. I can see that, and I anticipate using that for my own officers for their safety. You are really right on to what's needed. I think it's a great device. Certainly for my department, I would put one in every cruiser.